Hi, today I'm going to show you how you can add an interactive whiteboard onto your Canva presentation. So from your Canva presentation, I'm just going to make a real one real quick. So this presentation one. And right now, it's just a normal presentation. Uh, it's just a normal Canva presentation one. If you want to add a whiteboard to it, you can right click and you can click on this expand to whiteboard. And here you'll see all of these UI now. This page is now a whiteboard in your own space. A whiteboard is a digital interactive space, perfect for exploring ideas on your own or with others. I'm just going to take a tour real quick, see? And you can drag an element anywhere onto the screen. You can leave comments on a sticky anywhere on the board, combine lines and shapes and add graphics to show reactions, right? And then you can navigate the after space, try your zoom, mouse or track by gesture to zoom in, zoom out and navigate, right? And work with people in real time. When someone's in the same whiteboard as you, you'll see each other's cursors floating around. So it's like normal Canva. And you can create activities and also set a timer, right? So time activities and keep each other on track by using a timer on the bottom left of the editor. So there's duration, there's also a timer here. So there's a timer, a five minutes timer, for example, like that. And you can also share by adding people onto groups here as well. You can also add a collaboration link with anyone on the link here and pressing add to edit. And this Canva whiteboard is large as well, like very large. I think it's pretty much infinite and you can do whatever you, whatever you want with this whiteboard, just like draw, or you can also add elements here. Like you can add sticky notes here and you can pipe, like please fix this or something like that. See, so something like that. But you can, there's also another easy way to do this. You can just go back to Canva and instead of doing a presentation, you can just straight up make a whiteboard from the beginning. So something like this, right? And there you go. You already have a whiteboard without doing the extra step from earlier, like turning a presentation onto a whiteboard. I'm going to do one more example. I'm going to go back to presentation, right? And I'm going to do a design first. I'm going to do here, like a group project. I'm going to apply all four pages, right? And I'm going to turn this onto a whiteboard, but as you can see, because it's already a presentation, you can't really turn it into a whiteboard, right? So if you already have a presentation that's like this, you can't turn it into a whiteboard anymore. So it has to be a uh, an empty presentation one in the first place. So presentation, just like this, and then expand to whiteboard just like that once you expand it to a whiteboard then you can add a your own template so something like that here oh that was a premium one but you get the gist so something like this more like this and there you go now you have a whiteboard with all of these templates here so it's much easier if you just start with the whiteboard from the beginning see like this